sound test. How does it sound? This is a new mic and I'm so excited because this cost me, this mic, how much did this mic cost? I got two mics. One was 120 quid and that was not this one. This one was 60 perhaps, 60 quid. Oh God, this is why I'm so broke. Where do I start? Where do I start? Long time no see, let's have a chat. I have a lot to say. My name is Han. I go by Han on Earth on this channel, on my Instagram, wherever I feel like I should online. And I went off the internet for a long while. I have been active on my Instagram because that's where I do my photography. And that is the main thing that I do now. I'm a marine and natural history photography student, as I've mentioned before. But alongside that, I was doing YouTube mainly during the first months of lockdown and throughout 2020 and then it kind of fell off in 2021 when I moved into my first uni house. That's because I was extremely self-conscious because I hardly knew my new housemates and also because I was just stressed about everything in my life ever. However, this year, second year, I have fallen in love with making films again, not just this kind of vloggy thing, but also making documentaries. When I was a kid, I was a huge lover of history and documentaries, and I used to get up at 5 a.m. every single day when it was on to watch Time Team. Because let me tell you, I love archeology, span I love history, I love medieval shit, I love Norse shit, I love Saxon shit, I love Celtic shit. I love everything, I love everything about Cornwall. Literally, this, tripod that I'm using is resting on five books. Number one, The Book of Trespass by Nick Hayes. Number two, Cornish Folk Tales by Mike O'Connor. Number three, Geoffrey of Monmouth, The History of the Kings of Britain. Number four, Bernard Cornwell, The Pale Horseman. Number two, In the Last Kingdom series. I love that TV show, so I'm reading the books. And number five, The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. And these are all books that I've read this year already, or last year, and I'm so in love with everything right now. It's crazy. So now I'm coming back to YouTube to talk about books, to talk about photography, to talk about film, to talk about history and things, and I'm doing documentary shit, and I'm already working on some projects, and I'm so hyped. That is literally what this is here, this situation where I'm talking so fast and so chaotically, because I simply want to address that I will be making a return before at some point either that what's in my camera bag video comes or that Daniel Gum Cornwall's Caveman video is on its way. Trust me, I'm so excited for that because it is a uni project and it will be high production or as high production as a one man show can get. If you don't know who Daniel Gum is, do a little bit of researching. I've been doing a lot of researching and I'm very, very hyped because he is the man I aspire to be. I would love to live in a cave to avoid paying my taxes. So let's get back to some kind of point. If there is one, I know that there was a bunch of people subscribed for a while because they liked some of what I was doing, but what I'm doing now might be a little bit different. I've grown up, I'm more confident in myself. I'm sick of putting on this, hi, my name's Han voice. I'm talking as I am. I'm being passionate about the things I like. I'm doing photography of what I like. The thing with year one in uni and also beforehand is I was trying to do everything at once and now I've found my niche. It's historic landscape photos and, you know, history, archaeology, all that sort of stuff that I've already said in this video and possibly we'll see in future videos, but it all kinds of falls under the same category of historic and cultural and especially the Cornish landscape, because I'm Cornish. I don't know how to say that I just want to make content for myself and that's why with this uni project, the Daniel Gum thing that I'm talking very vaguely about, it probably isn't what I'm meant to do, but it's what I'm going to do because I love it and I know that if I'm passionate about something, I can make it the best it can be. So, the lineup. I know that I'm going to be making a What's In My Camera Bag video. I have so much more equipment, as I said at the beginning of this video. I spent almost 200 quid on two mics, but they're good quality, so it's got one of those dead cat things on it. It's very fun. And the other one is a lapel mic, which means that I can do things from a distance. So what's in my camera bag? Eventually Daniel Gum, possibly behind the scenes of Daniel Gum. Also some, oh, I would love to make a video of Cornish independence because I'm doing my dissertation on that soon. Fun. 
So if you are here to stick around, if you've been here from before, thank you so much for bearing with me, for dealing with this shit. And I hope that you will enjoy what I will be producing soon. It's more upgrades, more smileys from me, more myself, I'm more mature. And in all seriousness, I do just want to enjoy this. And if I fall off the wagon again and just disappear, nothing's wrong with me, so to speak. It's just that I need to take some time to figure out my passions again, because passions change. And that's something that throughout all of college, throughout all of school and throughout all of uni, I did not realize because I went from being a kid loving history, thinking I was going to be an archeologist to becoming someone who's obsessed with animals and thinking that was my thing and then realizing that it's not. And I love animals still. I love them dearly. I love nature dearly and conservation and all that. But this is my niche, this is history, and it's come full circle, and that's what I'm doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. My passions have changed, and perhaps in two or three years, I will suddenly hate history and archaeology again, and I'll figure out something else. That's fine. For now, we're doing this, we're coming back. Everything's gonna work out however it works out. I'm done worrying about shit. Whatever happens, happens, you know? Thank you for watching. I will see you very shortly with a what's in my camera bag video. Not to brag or anything, but I've spent all my student loans on photography equipment. So let's do that. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.